Greetings, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. DJI is back at it again with another new drone. This one is called the Mavic Air, and if you're not familiar with DJI, they are probably the most popular drone manufacturer in the world. They make the Phantom, they make the Mavic Pro, they make the Spark, and a bunch of others. This new drone, the Mavic Air, took the best parts of the Spark, that super tiny drone, and married it with the Mavic Pro, that foldable one that I used to have until I lost it on a cruise ship in Norway. The Mavic Air was announced at an event in New York City this morning that I was able to attend, and this thing is straight up dope. It's super tiny, like, really tiny, especially when you fold the arms in. It is about the same size as like an iPhone or a Note box. It's, it's really, really small and compact. And it's got a similar folding mechanism to the Mavic Pro. The front arms go in first and then the bottom ones kind of swivel in like that. The Mavic Air comes in three colors. There's a red one, a white one, and a black one. The Mavic Air has seven cameras built in for optical, avoidance and detection and DJI says that this drone is the most advanced drone they've ever made. With all of those cameras and sensors, the Mavic Air is able to avoid obstacles in real time. So you can hold the thumb, from what I understand, you can hold the throttle in forward and if you're going to crash into a tree or a glacier or a rock, it will avoid it and continue flying forward. They did a demo of this in person. I was pretty blown away. So all of these sensors combined with all of those flight modes makes me really want this thing. The Mavic Air's three axis gimbal holds the camera that shoots 4K at 24 or 30 frames per second with an F 2.8 lens at 24 millimeters. A little disappointing that it doesn't do 4K 60, but that theoretically could come in a software update. It can also shoot 12 megapixel stills, and it's got a whole bunch of picture taking modes. The Mavic Air tops out at over 40 miles an hour in sport mode, and they say the battery lasts 21 minutes, but if you're flying in sport mode, I would imagine you will not be able to get a full 21 minutes. It's got a two and a half mile range with a visible sight, and you can fly the Mavic Air with your hands. And I got to do this at the event, and I felt like a Jedi. I mean, everyone says, oh, you feel like a Jedi. I feel like Harry Potter. You, you, you really do. You kind of just like hold out your hand, make a bunch of gestures. You can make the drone come to you, go away from you, go up and down, take a selfie. Color me impressed. And DJI redesigned the controller slightly. If you're familiar with the Mavic controller or the Spark controller, it's that super small one with those like foldy out arm things for your phone. And this time the pieces unscrew, the thumbsticks unscrew so you can put them away and it won't like get caught on your bag. And I just wanna emphasize how tiny the Mavic Air is. The body is not quite as small as the Spark's body, but when folded down, it is, it is just unbelievably small. I put two of them in my front Casey Neistat sweatshirt pocket. Uh, this thing, it, like I thought the Mavic was small. Oh man, this thing is, they, they've done it. They've really done it. And of course the battery is removable. It's like a 2300 milliamp battery. And like I said, you get about 20 minutes of flight time. The Mavic Air starts at 800 bucks with a controller and then there's a fly more pack that gets you some more batteries and extra bag, some more propellers, etc. And that costs a thousand. I really want this Mavic Air now that I don't have my Mavic Pro anymore. And if I had to choose, I would probably get the black or the white one with the Fly More Pack. It just makes sense. Like if you're going to spend 800, you might as well spend the extra 200 to get that Fly More Pack. This drone goes on sale on January 28th. So if you're watching this video after that, it's already available. If you pick one up, please let me know in the comments. I'll be looking out for them. And if you're new around here and you're not yet subscribed, Hit that button to see more technology videos like this. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.